there's one um, consideration when we decide on parenting, right? And that is what's in the best interest of the child. And then there's, now we've got this list in the new Divorce Act. And one of those things is the desires of the child, what the child wants. But it's not it the trump card. The oh God, no, oh no. No, no, no. And every child I made from, you know, three years old to 16, 17 years old, I have to make clear, you are may not making the decision. Don't think that suddenly you're been handed a power card, the Trump card sort of thing. No, I think they have yeah. a voice. They don't make the final choice. Well, I think sometimes a parent might feel that that should have more weight than they do. Yeah. Yeah, they'll use yeah. it as a trump card. They'll try to use it as yeah. a trump card. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so, it's not enough. Because kids, they, you get in situations that just because of what they want, sometimes you're writing is sort of, of course you do. But then you look at the scenario, but you really can't have that. Mm -hmm. I had a file where mom was a serious alcoholic. Like, it's unfortunate, but we had to deal with the fact mom was an alcoholic and won't well, deal with it to the point like DUIs and she'd be hospitalized for alcoholism, uh, poisoning stuff. So yeah. She wanted, she, this was a teenage girl who, guess where she wanted to stay? At mom's. And one of the big reasons is because it's free at mom's. There's no control at mom's. I get to do whatever I want at mom's. Mom lets me you have the boyfriend over and we drink beer. Right. It's best interest of the child isn't exactly, oh, then, oh, then you go live with your mom because you want to. Like, no, unfortunately, we can't do that. Yeah. And luckily, as a teenager, just even though that's what she says she wants and is fighting for that so hard, she knew deep down that that was wrong. Right.